Grey Cup week in Hamilton. Always a fantastic host city, and it is a buzz with fans and getting set for the big game. Brittany Greenslade is with me this morning. She's uh, already, already getting her best spot there at Tim Hortons Field. Tell me more about uh, Grey Cup week and the mood in Hamilton, Brittany. Good morning, Heather. Well, this rainy start to the day isn't going to dampen any spirits for all those CFL fans because they are ready to party. They are ready for the Grey Cup, but they're ready for all the festivities that surround it. We landed here last night and started talking to some of those fans. Some of these fans, this is their 30th and 50th Grey Cup that they've been to. And, you know, it doesn't matter what teams are in for them. They've created a family around the Grey Cup. They come from all areas of the country and get together once a year year here at the Cup to cheer on the teams, but also to take in everything that the Grey Cup has to offer. Now, you mentioned Green Day is going to be playing at halftime, but if you aren't lucky enough to be at the game, there's so much more to take in here. There's the festival down on James Street and the surrounding areas. Uh, the Calgary Stampeders are hosting a pancake breakfast. The Spirit of Edmonton is always one of the biggest parties of the Grey Cup. And we have Carrie Underwood that's going to be performing in Hamilton here tonight and Shaggy tomorrow night. So, so much going on. Fans looking forward to it. You should have seen some of the outfits that we've already seen from these fans. It doesn't matter to them. They're here to party. They're here to take it all in. Many of them here, yes, for the Winnipeg Blue Bombers. Uh, but we've seen fans from the Hamilton Ticats. We've seen... Uh, BC Lions fans, uh, fans from really all over the country that are coming here and so excited. Like I said, a little bit of rain, not dampening any spirits here this morning. You know, Brittany, this is fantastic. We were just looking there as you were speaking at the cup arriving, escorted off, military escort as it arrived in Hamilton. Uh, obviously, that is the goal, to take that trophy home, that glorious trophy. So as far as the game itself, this is going to be fun because we've never had a Montreal-Winnipeg matchup in any Grey Cup, as incredible as that sounds. That's right. This is the first time that the two teams are meeting up for this championship. So it's going to be exciting no matter who wins. Of course, Winnipeg wants to see it come home for the third time in four years. We talked to Bombers fans who were saying, you know, they missed out on it last year. They're hoping to bring it back. But Hamilton is good luck for the Winnipeg Blue Bombers. They have beat the Ticats the last two cups that they've won. So really taking it as a, as a good omen here. Uh, Montreal Alouettes have won seven Grey Cups. The Bombers have won 12. And we know that this time the Bombers might need to do it without two of their top players, Dalton Schoen and Adam Bighill, both injured right now, going to be game day decisions on Sunday, we hear from Coach O'Shea. But one person those Bombers are going to count on is running back in Winnipeg native Brady Oliveira, who at the CFL Awards last night took home most outstanding Canadian. Here's what he had to say. This means a lot to me. You know, I'm a, I'm a proud Canadian. I'm living out a dream, a childhood dream, playing for my hometown with the Winnipeg Blue Bombers. And it's truly a, it's truly a childhood dream. You know, I, I've, been a, I've been a CFL fan ever since I was a young kid. So as a Canadian kid, this means the world to me. But the job's not done. Let's go get it Sunday. And if fans uh, about the Blue Bombers and fans of Brady Oliveira know he is a big animal advocate. He does a ton of work for dog rescues. So on our flight yesterday from Winnipeg, a number of those fans were bringing animals here to be fostered that had been rescued in Manitoba, coming here to Ontario to find their new homes and doing that in his honour and to the Blue Bombers' honour and hoping that maybe that's also a little bit of a good omen. Good luck for them here on Sunday as well. Heather? This has been fun. Thanks so much, Brittany. Great to have you there in Hamilton and thanks for being part of our show today. Brittany Greenslade live with us. Getting set. Thank you for watching the CBC Manitoba YouTube channel. Don't forget to like and subscribe. For the latest breaking news and top stories, download the CBC News app.